Carol Heathens at Home, it's Helen here again and I've got another recipe book for our activity packs this week. So this week I thought we would do something a little different and we would have a go at making our own breakfast sauce. So if I bring you round and show you all of our ingredients, we're going to be making brown sauce or breakfast sauce. So the main ingredients in this are apples and dates. So the first thing to tell you is we need 200 grams of onions and that needs to go onto the hob straight away and it needs to soften for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to put a little oil into my saucepan. I've got a nice deep saucepan here. We're going to put the onions in. Now I've got a mixture of white and red, but you could use white or red. It's absolutely fine. And we're going to turn that heat on. And we're going to keep an eye on it while I talk to you about our other ingredients. So our onions, I've just finely diced them. And they need to soften for 5 to 10 minutes before we put everything else in. So, the ingredients I've got today is 200 grams of diced onion, which we've got in the frying pan, in the, the big saucepan. Um, I've got 600 grams of chopped cooking apples. Now you don't even need to peel these, you can just core them and chop them up. I've got 40 grams of fresh ginger. I have some chilli because I would like to make my sauce a little hot. Mark and I love spicy food, but you don't need to put the chilli in if you don't want to. I have 200 grams of muscovado sugar or dark brown soft sugar. Either will do. Muscovado is better, but don't worry. The dark brown soft will work perfectly well. I have 200 grams of pitted dates. And then the interesting things I've got is I've got something called tamarind paste. Now this is a beautiful spice um, that comes in kind of a, like a liquidy paste form. And it's got quite a tart flavour. So I'll be using some of that. We'll be using some nutmeg and we'll also be using some clove. Now the recipe also says that you can add a dash of Tabasco to give a little kick. But as I say, I'm adding chilli. The last things we've got are lay and herrings, which is your sauce. And um, we've got, we will just need a dash of that. And we've got half a litre of balsamic vinegar. Now I'm just going to check on my onions. So the important thing to remember um, about softening your onions is you don't want to hard fry them, you don't want to caramelise them, you just want to soften them. Um, right, so what I'll do is I'll pause the video here and I'll put a list of ingredients up and then hopefully we'll come back and we'll be ready to make up the brown sauce. We are back and my onions have been gently frying and softening for about 10 minutes now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring them over here and I'm going to show you how simple it is to make this sauce. So what we're going to do is literally add all of our ingredients into the pan all at once. So we'll start by putting in our apples because that takes up the most space. Our apples in, and then our dates, our dark sugar, uh, our ginger. I absolutely love ginger, so it was lovely to see in this recipe. Uh, right, what else have we got? Now, as I say, I'm putting chili in, so I'm going to put about half my chili in 
because I'm not entirely certain how hot these are yet. Uh, we need to put our tamarind in. Now the recipe says for three tablespoons. That's quite a lot. Is it three tablespoons? It is. Um, I think I've probably got about three tablespoons left in this jar. I use tamarind to make curries with um, and I absolutely love it. So one, two, Yeah, I was right. It's about the end of the jar. Switch fingers. So get that in. Here's my cloth. Always try and keep nice and tidy. Uh, right, so we've got our Worcestershire sauce. This is two tablespoons. I just eyeball it, give it a good glug. Now if you want to make this vegan or vegetarian, what you can do, instead of using lean herrings, which strangely enough has anchovies in, you could get a sauce called Henderson's Relish, which is basically the same thing, but it doesn't include the anchovies. It's made in Yorkshire. It's absolutely delicious, um, and yeah, you can make it vegan that way. So, the last things we need to put in is our cloves. Now, I don't want to put whole cloves in, so what I'm going to do I'm going to take three or four, that should do, and I'm going to grind them in my pestle and mortar a bit first, just to break them down. And that will help incorporate all the flavours really quickly. There we go. That to one side. And then it says we need some nutmeg. So, how much nutmeg? I'm just looking at my recipe. Teaspoon of freshly grated. So, on my fine side of my grater, I'm just going to take some nutmeg. Ooh, and I've lost that piece. It is slippery stuff. I will pick that up in a minute. teaspoon is probably about half a whole nutmeg. saucepan and mix it all up and then in half an hour we'll come back and we'll see what we've got. So hopefully you can see in the pan here we've got all of our ingredients and we've just dropped everything in and all I'm going to do is give it a good stir, everything incorporated And then we're going to leave it to simmer for about half an hour. Pop the lid on and go and have a cup of tea. So our sauce has been simmering for about half an hour now. And hopefully you can see that everything's getting soft and mushy. What I'm going to do is let this cool for a little bit before I put it into a blender or a um, something like a Nutribullet, a smoothie maker and what we'll do is we'll scoop it up into the blender and try to make it as smooth as possible. Okay, so the very last thing we need to do, I have allowed my sauce to cool a little 
I have my Nutribullet, my smoothie maker, big pot and we're going to spoon our brown sauce mixture into here and do it in batches and um, seal that up and this is the loud bit we turn the Nutribullet on and all we do is we press down if it'll focus for me we press down and we will make this into a smooth sauce and give it a bit of a shake up and give it one final blast and that should be our delicious homemade brown sauce as easy as that hope you've enjoyed this recipe guys um, I'd love to see if you make this yourselves and um, we'll see you again soon bye Thank you.